What's going on guys? Crypto Renegade here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the altcoin everyone's been talking about, Avalanche, also known as AVAX on the charts. And why some are calling it the Ethereum killer. But before I jump into the content, I just completely revamped my website, bitcoinlockup.com, as you can see here on your screen now. There is some very exciting stuff coming and you can always preview my newest videos there before they hit YouTube or any other platform. There is also going to be some very exclusive as well as bonus content coming that I'm not going to make available anywhere else. And here we go. So if you have already seen the title of this video, then you know exactly what I'm about to talk about. But this is the coin that has been seeing an unprecedented market growth recently. And to be honest with you, every expert and crypto wallets are obsessed with right now. And that is of course, Avalanche, also known as AVAX. Now, what is this coin all about, this ecosystem? Let's get into it. Avalanche is a platform of smart contracts that has grown exponentially this year. Avalanche positions itself as the blockchain industry's quickest smart contracts platform with the most validators securing its activities. It is an open programmable smart contracts platform that may be used to solve a variety of problems for not only governments, institutions, and businesses such as DeFi, asset issuance, debt financing, as well as digital collectibles and NFTs. The people behind this blockchain also came from solid backgrounds. In fact, I used to work with one. The project was launched by Ava Labs, founded with Emin Gunsir, the Cornell University professor, and Kevin Signicki and Mayofin Ted Yin, two computer science PhDs from the same university. Those who are wondering about the Ethereum Connect, be patient, I'll come to it. But first, let's cover the native token AVAX and what the Avalanche blockchain promises to deliver. Now, the Avalanche platform's native coin, as I mentioned, is AVAX or AVAX. It's used to pay transaction fees and to secure the network through staking. It is presently ranked number 12 in terms of market cap as of shooting this, with a value of over $21.4 billion, not bad. AVAX coins have a finite amount, 720 million units, around 31% in circulation currently, and 11% can be earned by staking AVAX as a validator. But due to the recent bearish mood in the global crypto markets, AVAX is the only currency in the top 20 that is exhibiting an upswing this week while the rest of the major cryptocurrencies are in the red. Now, as of shooting this video, AVAX is currently priced at around $99, up 15% from the previous week. This week, AVAX broke beyond a $100 barrier for the first time, very psychological. Now, this could be due to the inclusion of a Uf USDT, an Ethereum-based stablecoin on the AVAX blockchain. Now, let's talk about the factors that are leading DeFi enthusiasts and why they're going nuts over Avalanche. First, we know that for a long time, blockchain technology has lacked interoperability and Avalanche is on the cutting edge of solving just that. Now, Avalanche's Avalanche Ethereum bridging technology is one of the most advanced currently available in the crypto world, something that Moonbeam is also trying to accomplish. The Avalanche Bridge allows you to seamlessly bridge ERC721 and ERC20 tokens between Ethereum and Avalanche, making it compatible with the entire Ethereum network. Now, since its introduction over 11 months ago, the Avalanche ecosystem has seen a surge of dApps on its mainnet with 256 applications currently active. It's a start in the right way in terms of how you'd like DeFi to function, but there's still a lot more to come. They have taken the right approach by treating newcomers well with an airdrop of 0.05 AVAX when you bridge over assets worth $75, 
which can be used to pay for transactions on a DEX since it is much cheaper than on the Ethereum network. Secondly, congested networks and fees are not really the problem here, although it is a problem. But before I begin, I should point out that there is a solution for this on the Ethereum network with layer two solutions, such as Polygon, as well as the upgrade of ETH 2.0, AKA Ethereum 2.0, which will make transacting on Ethereum blockchain considerably cheaper if and when it's released. Despite this, Avalanche claims to be the industry's fastest blockchain in terms of time to finality. Now this is made possible via the Avalanche consensus, which employs what they call the snowball algorithm. Now here is a quick rundown of the method. If everyone initially prefers pizza, but is thinking about switching to hamburgers, they ask a sample number of people what they prefer. Just stay with me. If the majority of the sample size came up with the same response, that solution would be adopted. If the opposite circumstance, the reverse would occur. Now to clarify, it employs a recurrent subsampled system that with each round of questioning achieves greater unanimity. Now, it might seem like I oversimplified this just for your understanding. However, when you have multiple options than simply pizza and hamburgers, the overall consensus mechanism becomes much more complex and complicated, and that is what Avalanche consensus actually resolves instantly, which makes it extremely quick and efficient, making decentralization achievable. Thirdly, Avalanche is a hard capped asset, which is very similar to Bitcoin. It does not give the same scarcity, but it is still hard capped at 720 million with a percentage of transaction fees burned with every single transaction, which is bound to rise as AVAX's popularity and usage overall grows, making it thus even more valuable in the future, allegedly. Now, coming back to the question, is AVAX really the Ethereum killer? Well, let's look at a few facts. Number one, it's entirely EVM compatible to Ethereum's assets, apps, infrastructure, and it offers increased throughput, speed, as well as lower fees. It may be used to deploy custom, public, and private blockchains as subnets and is compatible with Ethereum's programming language, which is Solidity. In addition to this, Avalanche has integrated various DeFi projects such as SushiSwap, Reef, BZX, TrueUSD, and Securitize with its blockchain. Now let's see what actually constitutes the tag or moniker of what's known as an Ethereum killer. Simply explained, Ethereum killers are new blockchain platforms that are vying for a piece of Ethereum's overall market share. Ethereum's killers are open source blockchain protocols that aim to address one or more of Ethereum's major flaws, such as slow network speed and excessive gas prices. Avalanche aims to take Ethereum's spot, as does everyone, and I believe it is possible for this to have an upper hand. These Ethereum killers strive to sustain decentralization whilst increasing scalability to an extremely massive level. However, Avalanche aims to take Ethereum's place by outdoing them specifically focused on smart contract and its sector as it is the primarily smart contracts focused platform. And now you know what a few tweets about AVAX may pique your interest, but it could be life-changing for many Avalanche is as a platform of platforms enabling anyone to create tailor-made application specific blockchains and benefit from the revolutionary Avalanche consensus. Now that's what makes it unique. Crypto is more than simply a speculative asset class for developers. It's a platform on which they can build software that extends the use of cryptocurrency and establishes the rules for transactions known as smart contracts. Now, smart contracts, according to blockchain proponents, are critical to crypto advancing beyond being merely a store of wealth or value or even something to speculate and trade on. In theory, Blockchain software can enable some of the technology's 
many long promised applications. This is including, but not limited to cheap and rapid payments, decentralized finance applications or dApps, and even consumer items such as games and NFTs. Now, Ethereum's problem have left a huge opening for AVAX and quite frankly, any other altcoin to slowly replace it. But it is going to take a chunk of the market away from Ethereum, right? Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see until Ethereum 2.0 comes out. Ethereum 2.0 promises lower fees, higher speed, which will essentially make this obsolete. But will that satisfy the needs of its larger user base and huge scale for enterprise? Or can an Ethereum killer like AVAX claim its spot soon enough? Recently, AVAX reached an all-time high post with a deal with Deloitte. Avalanche founder and Ava Labs CEO Eamon Gunser announced his company will be partnering with Big Four accounting firm to build more efficient disaster relief platforms using this unique Avalanche blockchain. So all of this to say, we're bound to see some very exciting times ahead. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments and don't forget to mention which of these you think has a better a chance to beat or kill Ethereum first, Avalanche or Solana? And I might just make another video about it. But for now, you can click right here in the top right corner to see the risks of Ethereum 2.0 in the top right corner. See you guys in that video right now. Crypto Renegade out.